How do you set a goal if you're not really clear about that goal? What if you're climbing the ladder and you're climbing and climbing and climbing to then find out you're actually standing on the wrong ladder? You wanted something completely different. What if you're in your mid-career, mid-40s, and you're doing a job, but you feel like I'm swimming against a stream and I'm stuck, but I don't know what I really want. This video is all about getting clear, crystal clear on your goal. And let me tell you this, if you know how you can achieve a goal, then it's not a good goal. And this might sound like, what? And I learned my lessons from Bob Proctor. He's like one of the most world, worldwide famous figures when it comes to personal development and, and getting people to achieve their full potential. I learned lessons from him and I'm, I'm happy to share that because learning a lesson from him really made me realize the goals that I have made in my life were goals that I knew how to achieve and they are not the right goals. The right goals are the goals that makes your heart beat faster, that gives you butterfly in your stomach, that, that, that scare you and excite you at the same time. That is a real, real goal. So what I'm gonna explain is what are these goals? How you can know what that real goal is, the goal that is your purpose in life, the goal that will make you grow, because a real goal is a goal that will make you grow. People come to me very often and then it's like, yeah, Rachel, I'm, I'm in this job and it's, it's okay and I'm doing what I need to do and I'm earning okay, but I'm not feeling fulfilled. And then I say, okay, so what is your goal? Well, I don't know. What is it that you really want? And then the first things that come to mind are goals that you think you can achieve or you know you can achieve. So you will first think about, okay, what did I do in the past? What is my experience? And there goes the logical mind. And, you know, I was able to do this, so maybe I can do that. And mm, I started my own business a few years ago, but I failed. So I, I can't do that anymore. So that's not a goal. Or, or I know I've done it in the past, so I can do it again, but in a different role. And you're thinking within your limitations. What do I mean by that is that I, I talk a lot about you are limitless. And because when you're born, you are limitless and you think you can achieve anything. You, you know, kids are like, oh, I want to be an astronaut and I want to be a stewardess and I want to fly a plane and all of that. And so you, you were limitless, but then through your parents and your teachers and your, you know, environment and the people around you, 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 they build limitations and it's like, oh, and you're good at this. So stay in that lane. And then I always have the image of a swimming pool with all these lanes, like, okay, you're good in this. So you have to continue that lane and just go up, you know, and always follow that lane. And then you forget about being limitless. You forget about what is your fantasy. You, we're, we're having such a hard time to really fantasize because we're always thinking within our limitations. No, 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 I can't do that because, oh, I don't have experience in that, or I can't do it because I failed in the past, or I can't do that. No, no, I want you to stop that and go deeper. And I know it's not easy because I've struggled with that myself. Like when I first started thinking about a goal, I was also like, okay, what have I done? What have I studied? What is my degree? Let me look within those limitations. But the bottom line was that I, I love to inspire and help people, but it's not clear. And it was for me not clear. How does that look? It's not tangible. It's like, give me the job description. We we're always looking for some clear cut job description. But that does not help to, to create that really clear goal. The words from Bob Proctor, he talks about A, B, and C goals. And so A and B goals are, A goals are the goals that you know what to do to achieve them. You know what to do to achieve it. It's like, well, I wanna buy a house. Okay, well, you know what to do. I wanna buy a car. Well, you know how to do that. You've done it before. Right? So you know how to achieve those goals. That's not a real goal. A B type goal is a goal that you think you know you can achieve. So you've seen other people do it. You know, if you do your research and your planning and you know, maybe it's a completely different job role. Okay. But if I do this and that, then okay, then I can achieve it. So 
A, you know how to achieve it. A B type goal is you think you know you you you, you think you can achieve it. But the C type goal is you have no idea how to achieve it. But you know that it's what you really desire. It's what you really, really, really want. It what it's what your heart, you know, your heart beats faster. You're scared to achieve it because you're like, how the heck can I achieve it? And that is a C-type goal. Now, how do you achieve a C-type goal? That's when you have to really go inside and cut out all the noise, the environment, the people that are telling you, oh, but you're good in this, you should do that, and you're good in that, and go there. No, cut out all the noise, go inside, and start writing down what you really want. So very practically speaking, you make a list and the best thing to do is to make a list for a professional goal and for a personal goal, okay? So make two. And then you, you look at it like a shopping list and you just write down, okay, I want this and I want that and I want that. Uh, and you just go on and on and you do this day after day after day, at least seven days. Why? Because the first two days you will start your list again thinking from your rational mind, from your whole upbringing, like, okay, maybe I can do this, maybe that, maybe that. And then the next day, I want you to go deeper because you have to go within, like what's your wildest desire? I had a, a client of mine and she came to me and she's like, yeah, but I'm okay in my job and I'm doing this legal work and, and you know, and, and it's fine, you know? And I'm like, okay, but what do you really want? Well, you know, yeah, maybe a, a new promotion, maybe, a, you know, a new consultancy job. And like, what do you really want? And then, and then finally it wasn't, well, I'm really, really, I love consulting people about wine and the wine industry and their choices and, and, and she was like so into that. And so now she's looking at, you know, um, consultancy in the wine industry, something that she's, she's so passionate about. And it's not just achieving that, it's, it's getting clear on that goal. It's exciting and it's not clear like, in the beginning, it's not clear, like, how the heck am I going to do that? I'm here in the legal services, knowing very well what I'm doing. How the heck am I going to go into the wine industry? Like, but it's, it's exciting. And then comes the path of figuring that out. And it's in the figuring that out that you will grow. Another client of mine, she, she's, do, she's also, again, in a, in a corporate role, okay? She's doing Excel sheets and organizations and all of that. And she's really good at what she's doing, but she's actually really passionate about stock trading and stock markets and she likes to write about it and she likes to trade stocks and she made a little bit of money on it she was like i would love to do that full time but 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 how you know it's not possible maybe in 10 years and and i'm like but it's exciting that's a c type goal that's your goal now let's go and figure out how to achieve it and within a few months she's actually ready to say goodbye to her job and do what she loves full time. But the figuring that out, how to do it, it's a process and it's a growth and, and it's, it's, it's crazy, exciting and scary at the same time. So a CETA goal is what you fantasize. And again, you have to go back to the, 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 the skill of a child to fantasize and go beyond your wildest dream, what excites you. And if you don't know how to do it, that's gonna be your C-type goal. If it excites you and scares you at the same, same time, that's your C-type goal. So that, my friend, is how you will create a C-type goal. And then from there, you can figure out how to achieve that goal. But if you really want a goal, and trust me, I know what I'm saying because I used to have all these A-type and B-type goals like, yeah, if I plan this and do that, I can go abroad, I can travel, I can find a job abroad, all of those. But when I knew like, ooh, what do I really want? Oh, I want to inspire people. I want to motivate people. I want to, I want to you know, teach and travel the world and have financial freedom. And I'm like, at first I was like, but how, 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 how? I didn't know. I didn't know because I didn't see it. It's not there. But yes, I knew that's my purpose and that's my goal. And, and then figuring that out, it's, it's marvelous. So that's what I want for you. And please comment below and subscribe to my channel and check all the links and resources below. There's some free stuff for you out there. If you're still stuck, you can get unstuck. I'm happy to help you as well. And I hope this was helpful for you.